At the Commodity Classic show last week in San Antonio, I stopped in to learn the latest at New Farm. And on the left here we have Ken. And Ken, your last name again is? Barrow. Barrow. And you are Vice President of Marketing for North America. And on the right we have Dan Barron. Correct. Technical? Tech Service Director for the U.S. And you're a neighbor in Iowa, is that correct? Dan? I am. Little town of Eldora, Iowa. Uh, shout out to Eldora. Population? About 2,500. 2,500. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, New Farm, what's the latest uh, that you guys got cooking here early in 2020? Yeah, so we're really talking about our investments we've made over the last few years. Um, leading up with our manufacturing facility we just opened in Greenville, Mississippi, to continue to, uh, to bring growers and, and uh, retail channel partners uh, more technology from, from New Farm in an efficient manner, um, along with several products I'll let Dan talk about. Well, on the agronomy and tech service side, one of the things that's top of mind as we come into this 2020 planting season is all the missed herbicide applications from the wet season right, that right. so many of us experienced in 19. So really, is uh, hopefully we're crossing our fingers for a dry spring so that we can get out with uh, good burn down programs and, and lay down a good residual uh, herbicide package ahead of our crops. And along those lines, a new farm year uh, products, some of the, the popular ones that are moving here, is the, why don't you walk us through that, Dan? Yeah, one of the bigger ones going into this year ahead of soybeans will be Panther Pro. It's a three-way liquid product utilizing flumioxazin, metribuzin, and So we've got three modes of action, really good on the resistant water hemp and palmer pigweed that we know we've got a heavy weed seed bank laying there uh, ready to go as we get into this year. So very effective pre-emergent herbicide and uh, one that I think a lot of growers are going to be taking a look at to, uh, to protect their soybean investment. Panther Pro. Okay. Now what else do we have in the portfolio of products from New Farm? Yeah, Ken, you want to mention the yeah. recent one we just acquired? So we just uh, acquired Gold and Gold Tinder, which have been long-standing brands and uh, for many growers out there. It's relevant technology that uh, we have bought in and, and looking forward to really servicing uh, growers and, and, again, the channel partners uh, with, with that technology to make sure it stays around and stays available for them and continue to give growers choice in, in what products they use. And that was a recent acquisition, you said? Yes, it was. Uh, we, we actually recently licensed the brand. It's a, a legacy Corteva brand okay. um, that has uh, come into the new farm portfolio. Okay. And Dan, any other uh, products that you guys are getting a lot, or as farmers here at Commodity Classic, they come up to visit? Uh, yeah. What are they asking you about? Absolutely. So one of the products we're featuring and talking to a lot of growers about is True Nemco. It's a nematode seed treatment control product. That, uh, that we're introducing here. This year is our first full year of registration and uh, really exciting technology can be applied to soybeans, corn, cotton. We're really focused on the soybean market for sure, sure in the Midwest, knowing that the impact that uh, nematodes can have and the, the effects that damaging nematodes have. So we're really excited about that product. It's performed extremely well in trials against some of the competitive products and it's one that I think has a lot of flexibility for for retailers and growers looking at the, the seed treatment market. Okay. And how about now again, New Farm, gosh, you guys has really been growing here, uh, some of these new products acquisitions. Uh, Ken, we can walk that back a number of years, uh, just very aggressive, building out the company. Yeah, so we've, uh, we see, we're very excited about what the future of uh, North American agriculture and U.S. agriculture has in front of us. And, and that's one you're seeing a lot of companies that are drawing back all these acquisitions. You're seeing really investments pulling back from this sure. market. We're trying to do the opposite. We think it's a great time to be investing in the U.S. farmer, uh, the U.S. agriculture market space. Because we see a tons of opportunity. You go back to our uh, acquisitions of uh, cotton portfolios out of DuPont, uh, relationships we have with Sumitomo Chemical, and then and more recently, um, as, as Dan talked about, the investment of new technology in Panther Brands. Uh, you bring on Trinemco, and then uh, most recently this month, uh, the Goal acquisition. And just for a little background now, New Farm structure and ownership actually goes back, what, like 100 years in Australia yep. or something? Just over 100 years, 1916. Wow. Um, and again, we're, we're Australian based, and we've operated on the New Farm brand for that long, and we, we would challenge many to say that that's probably one of the longest standing brands in this uh, in this agriculture space. Yeah, no kidding, 100 plus years. And in the U.S., big presence here going back to, is it the 90s? Yeah, around the 90s uh, was really when we started to take a footprint, um, going back to the Riverdale Chemical Acquisition. Yeah. That, that got us our Chicago uh, manufacturing footprint. Sure. And then, again, it, with the expansion most recently in Greenville. To, you know, to Greenville, Mississippi, that plant you got, and that's... Uh, coming online. Uh... Yep. So we, we had the grand opening in October of last year. We are uh, 
We've got several products that are coming off the line actively and getting out into growers' hands now. Uh, we'll continue to scale that manufacturing facility as we go over the next year. It probably takes another five, six months to get all the products running through it that, that are in our initial plans in phase one, but we're excited about the investment there and the investment in the community of Greenville. Um, and it's uh, it's something that, that is new farm. It's uh, we're, we're really excited to be a part of. Yeah, absolutely. While many of our competitors and other players in the ag space you're seeing pull back, uh, we're going the other way. We're heavily investing, starting with uh, the products that Dan mentioned a moment ago. But, but when you look at the plant, Greenville, Mississippi, uh, and the investment we're making there, the growers that we can service in that Delta region, uh, which are which are important to, to our product line and portfolio, we're excited about that. Excited about the investment in the community of Greenville, uh, which we've, we've been a part of, and, and really what that's going to bring to that area, um, and continue to enhance the communities around the agriculture space. Um, and then you certainly look at the R&D uh, pipeline, which we're investing in, which Dan takes care of for us, and, and those developments that you're going to see over the next three, four, and five years. There, there's a lot to come from the farm. It's not, it doesn't stop with the plant in Greenville. We've, we've got a lot, in, a lot coming. So for people who aren't familiar with, with New Farm, what would you guys say, uh, what's the secret of the company, 100 plus years of success and growth? Uh, what makes you guys tick? Yeah, sure. I would say one of the things that that I would say New Farm really thinks about is think about the grower and think about our customers and what are some of the solutions that we can bring to them with foundational chemistry that they're relying on to have a consistent uh, consistent performance. So we really think about what are some of those key active ingredients that are so foundational to grower success and then we think about how can we manufacture them in a way that's efficient and put it in a place where we know we're going to have reliable inventory and then kind of the area that I work in is how can we make those key active ingredients, those key products that they're looking for, uh, how can we make them better? How can we deliver them in efficient uh, ways that help their, that help their uh, production system out? So I think that focus on the grower and how their key needs uh, need to be addressed. That's that's how I would look at it. And, and, and I'd build on that, taking exactly what he said, and really talk about how we want to be easy to do business with. You know, we want growers to have ready access to, to our product almost no matter what other decisions they're making, and our retail channel partners the same. And then you complement that, the growers need choice. And we see uh, in this new environment, this new landscape we're in, as all these acquisitions has happened, right. choice is becoming more important. And we see New Farm as a vital piece uh, to bring choice both to the retail and, and yeah. the growers they serve. Choice yeah. is becoming more and more important, isn't it? It is, yeah. very important. Now, if folks want more information on any of your products, what, I mean, hit your website or social media, how, how can they uh, learn more about New Farm? Yeah, bo both. Uh, so we have a, a heavy presence in social media, particularly Twitter, uh, at uh, New Farm uh, US Crop, and okay. then also at uh, www.newfarm.com. Okay. And I also understand quite an active YouTube channel. Dan, you're out there on YouTube a lot? Yeah, occasionally you'll catch me out in the field, nice. uh, you know, giving some demos, uh, especially a lot of the herbicide trials that we get. We try to you know, provide some of that information in a video format, make it a little more uh, interactive. You know, a lot of times it's tough to get to those field days and things like that. So we, if we can bring the, right. the field day or the plot to the to the customer, we certainly like to do that. You know, right. Everybody's time. Right now, you've got some great stuff on burn down, and, and especially coming off last year. Very timely, that, yeah. Some really good information out there from Dan. Uh, for, for that go to YouTube down. and type in New Farm, and we'll, we'll see our friend Dan here. Absolutely. Right. Setting us straight. And again, Dan, from your angle, uh, talking to farmers, uh, customers, with the challenges coming off of 19 into early 20, or where you guys are at the farm shows here, Monty Classic. Uh, what's your sense? What's your sense? How? the vibe you're getting from farmers, I guess, what I'm saying, in these wet areas. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think everybody's ready to put 19 behind them, yep. right? Uh, I say that. I was up in North Dakota a lot this week, and they're still grinding through some corn. Right. And uh, that being said, as people want to turn the page from 19 and the challenges, it's like, you know, some, it's going to continue to give some gifts that we don't like. A lot right. of that's going to be in challenging weed, weed control scenarios. So I do think as we talk to growers, they're looking for... What are some efficient, cost-effective ways to manage weeds? And I think our portfolio really addresses a lot of that. Well, there you go, folks. Check out New Farm, uh, newfarm.com, Ken. That's right. And across social media, New Farm, they got great solutions uh, to help you do what you got to do out there. Ken, Dan, thank you for giving us the scoop. And uh, again, hats off to New Farm for your, for being aggressive and growing the company, and giving us the choice we need out there. Thank you. Hey, Good luck, everybody, this year. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. 
Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineRepeat.com.